Today for math, we are going to be working in Unit 7, Lesson Number 3. This lesson involves solving length word problems. I put a ruler on the screen, not because you'll need a ruler, but all of these problems have to deal with some sort of measurement. Maybe it's inches, centimeters, or feet. Each problem could be different. Let's look at the first example. Miss Debussy is making a necklace. First, she adds 18 centimeters of beads onto the necklace. Then, she puts nine more centimeters on the necklace. How many total centimeters is the necklace? So let's take a look and see what information we know. It says, first, she adds 18 centimeters of beads. So that's the first number that we're going to be using, 18 centimeters. Now the next part says, then she puts nine more centimeters onto the necklace. Now if my necklace is this long, if this is 18 centimeters, and I add nine more centimeters onto the necklace, which operation do you think we should do second grade? we're going to need to add, yes. Because if my necklace gets more centimeters, then I know it's getting longer. And if something's getting bigger or longer, I'm going to be adding. Now, I wrote my equation from side to side. You might want to change it to write it up and down. That's all right, too. Let's go ahead and let's add up 18 plus nine. I'm going to use touch points. Nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. I made a new 10 and one plus one is two. So that means my necklace is 27 centimeters long. This is just like a normal story problem or word problem, but instead of adding items, like books or pencils or crayons, we're going to be adding different units of length. This one was centimeters. So we need to look in the problem for what our unit of length is. Let's look at the next one. A racetrack is 128 meters long. There are bushes around 59 meters of the track. How much of the track does not have bushes? Now let's take a look and see what we know already. We know that the whole racetrack is 128 meters. Now that is our total. That's how long the whole thing is. So if I were to draw a racetrack, the whole thing around is 128 meters. Now it also says there are bushes around 59 meters of the track. Now 59 is smaller than 128, isn't it? So let's pretend that let's say this amount here is 59 meters. So it's not the whole racetrack, it's only for 59 meters. Now the question is how much of the track does not have bushes. So that's this blue part here. How much does not have bushes? So second grade, the question is, do you think that we should add 128 plus 59, or do you think that we should subtract 128 minus 59? If you said minus, you are correct because 128 is our total. And we can't have more of the track that doesn't have bushes, that doesn't make any sense. So since we already know our total, we can subtract to find that missing piece of the track. And if you like how I'm drawing a little simple sketch, you can absolutely do that on your problems today too. 
There's nothing wrong with a little math picture to help us visualize what's happening. Now, let's go ahead and start subtracting. I always start in the ones place. Eight minus nine, can I do that? No, I can't, so I'm going to go next door to my neighbor to get 10 more ones. 18, 17, 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, nine. Oh, I should have known that second grade. That's a double because nine plus nine gives me 18. Let's go into the middle, into the tens column. I have one minus five. If I have one, can I give you five? No, I can't, so I need to go over to the hundreds to get myself 10 more tens. Now I have 11 minus five. 11, 10, nine, eight, seven, six. And are there any hundreds left? No, there's not because I ungrouped it. So the part around the racetrack with no trees is 69 meters. Michael is growing taller every year. This year, he is 60 inches tall. He is four inches taller than he was last year. How tall was Michael last year? Now let's think about this for a second. Let's say we have Michael here. Don't mind my drawing. Here's Michael, and he is 60 inches tall right now. Now, if he is four inches taller than he was last year, should I draw Michael last year as being taller or shorter? He needs to be shorter because people don't shrink. That would not make sense. Now it says that Michael is four inches taller this year. So that means I need to take four inches away to find last year. So 60 minus four equals some number of inches. I'm gonna write it up and down just because I like to do that. Can I have zero and give you four? No, I can't. Let's ungroup and give myself 10 new ones. 10, nine, eight, seven, six. And five minus zero, five. That means that last year, Michael was 56 inches tall. And that makes sense, doesn't it, second grade? Because every year we get taller. It's not very common for someone to get shorter every year. So Michael got four inches taller this year. Amy has a piece of purple string that is 30 centimeters long. You know what, I'm gonna draw a piece of purple string and it's 30 centimeters. She also has a piece of yellow string, let me get my yellow pen ready, that is 12 centimeters long. Now second grade, I know that 12 is shorter than 30, or less than 30, so I'm going to make that yellow string shorter. So let's label that 12 centimeters. How much longer is the purple string? So they're not asking us for the total. They want us to find the difference. How much longer is the purple string than the yellow string? It's almost like a math mountain or a comparison bar. It sure looks like it, right? Our big bars on top, our little bars on the bottom, let's say 30, 12, and that would mean that we're missing our circle. It's almost like there's an imaginary comparison bar circle over here. Now, if that's true and it's like a comparison bar, and I know that with my comparison bars, I think of them as a math mountain. Now, if I do that, that I know at the top of my math mountain is my king, then second grade, should I add these two numbers up or should I subtract them? I need to subtract them because this number at the bottom cannot be bigger than my king. 
So let's do 30 minus 12. Let me move that down a little bit. Tried to write the 12 first. I can't do 12 minus 30, not in second grade at least. Let's go ahead and subtract. I start with the ones. Zero minus two. I can't do that. Let's go next door to get some more ones. 10, nine, eight. And two minus one is one. So that means that the purple string is 18 centimeters longer than the yellow string. Second grade, let's practice one last problem here together. Kyle is making a racetrack. His track is 50 centimeters long. I'm gonna draw that. I'm just gonna make it a straight track. How about that? So 50 centimeters. He adds 37 centimeters onto the track. Let's add that there. Let's add 37 centimeters on. How long is the track now? Now there were quite a few words in there that told me what to do in this problem second grade. One of the biggest ones was that he added more onto his track. And since he made the track longer, I know I am going to add to see how long the track is now. So let's go ahead and add. Starting with the ones, zero plus seven, that's just seven. And let's do touch points, five, six, seven, eight. So now his racetrack is 87 centimeters. Remember second grade, when you're working on your problems today, it is perfectly fine to add a little picture. If that helps you see what's happening in the problem, it doesn't have to be a very complicated picture. The pictures that I drew here were very simple. Probably this one was the most complicated, but it doesn't have to be very detailed. You can just draw a quick picture if that's helpful for you. Feel free to do that and then decide if we are going to add or if we're going to subtract.